beautiful Christmas season so far. Today, I'm super excited to be sharing my annual festive holiday drink ideas video. We have so many good ones today. We have a peppermint bark cold brew, a gingerbread hot cocoa, a mint matcha, a sugar cookie cappuccino, and the last one is a sparkling cranberry apple cider. They are all so delicious, so fun, and of course, super festive. So I'm really excited to share these recipes with you all. And before I begin, I wanna take a moment to thank Beanbox for partnering with me for this portion of today's video. If you are looking for an amazing gift for the coffee lover in your life, Beanbox is 100% it. It is the best. So they put together these beautifully curated gift boxes and I have two of them to share with you today, but they really have so many fun and festive ones that you can check out. And I absolutely love how they are bringing the coffee house experience to your home and they just have made these beautiful gifts that you can share with your loved ones. And as you may know, if you watch my videos, I absolutely adore coffee and I I have really been stepping up my coffee game recently. We grind our own beans now and we like to get, you know, fancier specialty coffee that is as freshly roasted. So I really resonate with Beanbox and I truly believe it's simply better than coffee you can buy at the grocery store. And again, it's just so perfect for holiday gifting. So let me show you one of my gift sets. So this is the coffee and chocolate tasting flight, which is just amazing. What's better than coffee and chocolate? These are two of my favorite favorite things. So essentially they give you this little card and they have already perfectly paired the coffee and the chocolate so you can taste the ones that really enhance and complement each other. So for instance, we have the Himalayan salt and toffee that goes with our caramel coffee. So each bag of beans has the flavor notes at the bottom and a little description of what you have in store. So I absolutely love this and I just love the variety and it really is such a treat to try everything and such a beautiful experience that you can do with loved ones or by yourself in the morning, what better way to wake up? This box is truly designed for anyone who really appreciates quality and delicious coffee and chocolate, and you don't have to be a coffee connoisseur or expert to enjoy this gift. It really is just so thoughtful and so tasty. We've really been enjoying our pairings from the tasting flight, and my favorite so far is the nutty coffee with the Peruvian dark chocolate with cacao nibs. It is so, so delicious. Now let me show you the other box, which is is also so much fun. So this is the 12 mornings of coffee, kind of like the 12 days of Christmas, but here you have a little advent calendar of sorts where you open each day and you have your own little bag of coffee that you can freshly brew and enjoy. So I think this is so fun and even just opening the first one, I smell the coffee just shining through and it just smells delectable. Again, it's just such a fun experience to give your loved ones and coffee lovers this holiday season. So if you'd like to shop any of Beanbox products or gift boxes, you can check it out in the link in my bio and I'll have a code and a link all set up for you guys. So happy shopping for all my fellow coffee lovers. And now let's get into the first recipe. First up, we have our peppermint bark cold brew. And by the way, I will put all of the directions as well as the ingredients for each recipe in the description so you can easily screenshot and have them on hand. But the first thing we're gonna do is add a dark chocolate rim to our glass. And this is optional, but I feel like it adds some nice flair and it's so nice as you sip on your drink. It just tastes so delicious. So I melted some chocolate chips and then I also sprinkled it with some peppermint pieces and popped it in the fridge for about 10 minutes so that the chocolate could harden. And while my glass was in the freezer, I made my whipped cream that I'm gonna put on top of the cold brew. So for this, I'm gonna take a spoonful of cacao powder and mix it with some heavy whipping cream. And I just used my handheld frother to make it nice and thick and creamy. Once my cup was nice and cool and the chocolate hardened a bit, I added my ice in and then poured in my cold brew coffee. And 
added in my whipped cream and pieces of peppermint bark for an extra touch. we have our mint matcha for all of my tea lovers. I'm still getting into matcha, but I really wanted to include this drink because I feel like it is such a festive and yummy option. So for this, I took one of my matcha packets and added it into my glass. You'll want to follow whatever directions that come with your matcha, but mine said to add in the matcha powder with some water that was around 140 degrees. So that's precisely what we did. And that part is pretty simple. And then to add a little bit of sweetness and mintiness i took some of this vanilla creamer which is coconut cream and almond milk and a little dash of heavy whipping cream so that it would be nice and thick but i really liked using the vanilla cream because it added that sweetness and then i added a few drops of peppermint syrup but you can also use mint extract if you have that on hand and then i frothed it until it was nice and thick and poured it over my matcha so for this the real star of the show was this candy cane template I made and I sprinkled some more matcha powder on top so we can make this pretty design. I made this drink art template with my Cricut and I have a tutorial in one of my recent vlogs. Have our sparkling cranberry cider. I absolutely love this drink. It is so festive and refreshing and I plan to make it on Christmas Eve for my family. So the first thing I did was wash some cranberries. You're not really going to eat these. They're really more for decor, but you can eat them if you choose after you finish your drink. The cranberry and cider helps sweeten them up a bit because cranberries are quite tart. So the first thing I did is add in some ice into my glass. I love using crushed ice. And then I added a spoonful of pomegranates and a spoonful of cranberries. And poured in my sparkling Honeycrisp apple juice that I found at Trader Joe's, but you could also just use any kind of apple juice or cider. And I also poured in my sparkling cranberry juice. And that's it. You just have your beautiful cranberries and pomegranate. And I also added in some rosemary just for a beautiful garnish. have our gingerbread cocoa. It is so creamy and I just absolutely adore those ginger and warming spices that we add in. So first I'm going to pour in my milk, my chocolate, my cacao powder, and the spices into a pan so we can let that simmer and just get it all warmed up. I also added some sugar and salt and I just let that warm up on the stove for about 10 minutes. warming up I made some simple whipped cream with some heavy whipping cream some cinnamon and vanilla extract this is one of my favorite whipped creams it's so simple and tasty and once my cocoa was nice and warm I poured it in my mug topped it with my whipped cream and this cute little chocolate gingerbread and a sprinkle of cinnamon have our sugar cookie cappuccino. This one is so sweet and lovely. So first we're going to make our milk mixture by combining some milk, sugar, sprinkles, and vanilla extract. And I'm getting my espresso already, grinding my beans. And if you don't have an espresso maker of any kind, you could also substitute it for a cup of strongly brewed coffee. frothed my milk using my espresso machine but you could also warm it up in the microwave and then use a handheld frother or blender 
And here's the key for this recipe. You're gonna wanna take a little bit of butter and put it at the bottom of your mug before you add in your espresso shot. This is just gonna make it extra creamy and really give you that soft sugar cookie flavor. And once my coffee was brewed, I just added in my frothed milk and topped it with some sprinkles, of course, and this cute little cookie. I really hope you all enjoy these recipes and let me know if you end up making any of them. I would absolutely love to see your creations, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your holiday season and I cannot wait to see you next. Bye.